engineers from IIT Madras have come up with this huge shallow wave basin in the outskirts of Chennai. This huge facility that belongs to the National Technology Centre for Ports, Waterways and Coasts is 95 meters long and 65 meters wide. That is almost the size of a football field. This testing facility is state of the art and is the largest such facility in the country and one of the largest in Asia. But what is it used for? So if you might have seen the port, correct? For right, example, right. you might have seen some kind of a breakwaters. We hmm. call this a coastal structure, it's a rubble mound structure. It's basically basically constructed based on the stones. Right. To put it in a layman's sense. Yeah. We have stones, we have just Keep, keep a pile of stones right. just to give a hmm. layman's sense. Right. Right. So those stones, you have put the stones over there. Hmm. But when there is going to be a waves that is going to hit, of course these stones will rock hmm. and then this move. Correct. So those stones, when you try to place it, it has to be rigid. Right? Okay. It should have a stability. Okay. Right. Right. So that means it should be stable under under, under the extreme conditions. Suppose right. if it is unstable, what will happen is the waves will penetrate into the harbour region, mm. correct? So you cannot be able to birth the structure mm. into it. So that was the idea of doing it. That is one part or you can also try to look into the sea walls. Mm. For example, if you go to some of the coast, mm. you have a sea wall that is basically uh, parallel, that is on the coastal region. You mm. see a lot of stones which are placed on this on the coastline, correct? So those coastal structures, those mm. sea walls, has to be also be protected against mm. extreme conditions, mm. correct? So those kind of tests we normally do over here. The shallow wave basin is basically a simulation of coastal waters. Waves are generated according to the requirement of the project, be it the intensity or the type of wave to be generated. But how does the facility generate waves? We have right now, if you look at this particular facility, we have about 144 wave makers. Right. Each wave maker consists of a height of 1.5 meter and 40 centimeter width, so that corresponds to 60 meter length. Hmm. So that is exactly the size of the facility. There are about 18 panels. Right. So these are the 18 panels which you can see over there. Okay. And each panel has about 8 wave paddles. Right. Okay. And I already told the dimension of these 8 paddles. Right. And these paddles are basically called a piston type paddle. Okay. Because that is normally for a shallow basin to generate the waves in the shallow water condition. Mm -hmm. So these piston paddles are operated based on the rack and pinion mechanism, which is a general traditional mechanism of mechanical engineering. Okay. And then it is controlled by a servo motor. Right. And the servo motor is actually controlled by a drive. Right. Okay. And in the drive, we also can able to give any type of waves which you want. So okay. suppose if you try to have a real sea state condition, uh -huh. I want to reproduce that particular sea state condition into the facility, hmm. I can actually do it. So entire thing can also be operated remotely. So if you look at it, you can see there are a lot of regular waves right now. I'm just trying to put a regular wave just to showcase. And the wave direction I said it's a 30 degree. So that means the waves are going to come at a 30 degree angle. Right. So and you can also see that this entire paddle will move like a snake. Okay. So that means I said about 144 paddles. So each paddle will be have a different signal. Okay. So all those are controlled through one click over here. Could you could you just yeah. uh, create a wave for me? Yeah, sure. So here I'm just trying to create a regular waves. Okay, and then uh, just directly go over here. Just I'm running it. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. So you can see the waves which you can able to generate over. So you can see the waves are moving at an angle. Right. So you can basically you can see the paddle motion is also like a snake type. Right. Right. Huh. And you can actually see the waves are propagating in one direction. Yeah. So, so this is the capability of the facility wherein you can also if you have a storm condition. If I know what is the storm condition, right. I can actually also recreate the same storm condition. What makes this shallow wave basin impressive is the design of it. As Professor Sriram mentioned, the entire facility has been designed in such a way that it can be customized to the needs of the user. The 144 motors and paddles can be split up and moved across the facility. The outer surface of the paddle is made of fiber-reinforced plastic 
and the inner part comprises foam. This makes the paddle lightweight. On average, the setup consumes 360 kilowatt of power per hour. Although the facility is currently designed to carry out shallow water testing, it can also be converted to carry out deep water testing. All the engineers have to do is increase the water level and raise the height of the paddle. It has also been designed in such a way that the simulation of sea current can also be carried out in the future. But how much did it cost the engineers to build this facility? While it could have cost around 50 crore rupees had the technology and equipment been imported, the IIT engineers have built this indigenously at a cost of just 7.5 crore rupees. Right now, the testing for Indian coastal water structures is being carried out abroad. But with the emergence of this facility, companies could save huge money in testing. They can avoid paying huge entry fees that testing facilities usually charge and they can also avoid transportation costs that come with moving out of the country for carrying out tests. Tests can be carried out at roughly half the price of doing it abroad. So that is everything you needed to know about this shallow wave basin research facility of NTCPWC. So IIT Madras is similarly coming up with a flume that is going to be 500 meters long where they will simulate tsunami waves and carry out research related to that and that flume will fall under IIT Madras' center for maritime experiments to maritime experience. This is Sai Ashwin signing off for The Federal. Subscribe to The Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.